Tattooing has been practiced across the globe for at least 7,000 years. Figurines recovered from tombs in Japan, dating back to 5000 BC, had their faces painted or engraved to represent tattoo marks. The oldest known human to have tattoo marks on his mummified skin is a Bronze Age man dating back to 3300 BC. Otzi the Iceman had 57 tattoos, probably made using soot. Many were located around acupuncture points, suggesting tattooing was used as an ancient healing technique for diseases such as arthritis. Other early examples of tattoos can be traced back to ancient Egypt, from mummified bodies dating back to around 2000 BC. Since then, the tattoo culture has grown and flourished across the globe, having different associations in different cultures. Tattoos are often shunned in Japan due to their association with criminals who for 200 years from 1600 were branded. This branding developed into the elaborate tattoos of the Yakuza, the Japanese Mafia, becoming a badge of honour. Like Japan, China also has a long history of tattooing associated with criminal groups, but is now a form of self-expression for the young. For the Maori people of New Zealand, tattooing was a sacred ritual starting at puberty. Tattoos made warriors more attractive to women and more fearsome to opponents. Africa has one of the oldest associations with tattooing, their complexity often reflecting the status of the person in society. In India, tattooing was sometimes worn instead of jewellery or to ward off evil spirits. Headhunters in the Northeast recorded their gruesome practice with tattoos on their faces. In modern India, tattoos reflect the Western practice of tattoos as a fashion statement. American native tribes displayed tattoos to celebrate achievements in life and in warfare. In modern America, tattooing, once seen as a practice of misfits, sailors and bikers, is now common amongst the young as a form of self-expression. As far back as the 5th century AD, it is thought that many of the Anglo-Saxon kings and their bands of warriors, who were to lay the very foundation stones of what is now the English nation, were heavily tattooed. The modern practice of tattooing in England is thought to have started around 1700, when Captain James Cook and his crew returned from the Polynesian Islands, where the practice was widespread. Many of the sailors' tattoo designs told of their travels and their service. A turtle indicated crossing the equator, an anchor, an Atlantic journey, and a dragon told of service at the Chinese naval station. Some of the seamen even learned the process of Polynesian tattooing for themselves and began to give each other tattoos on their long journeys. Some retired from the sea and began the first tattoo parlours in European ports of call. For fishermen, tattoos were lucky charms to ensure safe return from sea and a bountiful catch. The East Coast port of Grimsby has a long association with seafaring tattoos. In recent decades, Kiss Me Quick tattoos have been popular with visitors in the neighbouring resort of Cleethorpes. Some remain a treasured memory of a day at the seaside, others an impetuous act they later regret. <laughs> continue to be part of our society today, sometimes signifying belonging, sometimes daring to be different, but always a very personal and permanent means of artistic self-expression. <laughs>